Listen, baby, what's that song by Future? Mask off? I know we was all happy about that, but it looks like we need to be masking the f up, okay? <laughs> Candy camera. Candy camera. That's my car TV on the mic. <laughs> TV. I'm coming right back at you with another video. So, um, yeah. So, it looks to me like the World Health Organization is, uh, you know, saying that we're going to have a whole nother wave of the COVID-19 virus, okay? And uh, this virus is actually, you know, called the XBB here. I thought it sounded like a new electric car or something like that. It's called the XBB variant. Or whatever they got some little numbers and stuff behind it don't get me to trying to you know decipher and all that i think it's two different ones that's going on right now but whatever china is getting hammered okay they got so many hospitalizations and everything like that i mean millions upon millions of people upon millions of people a week whatever is getting infected with this new variant and now it's starting to spread to other little parts now they have not issued a um pandemic or anything like that or like a you know emergency you know how they did with you know the first wave and everything like that you know they haven't even got that far yet you know what i'm saying but what they are saying is that they are expecting um by the end of june to be 65 million people a week to be infected by this virus now i've already seen there's been some reports open to new york state of new york over here in america and some new zealand stuff and things like that. So it's kind of spreading quickly. My best advice to you all is to go ahead and mask up because we already know that the Delta variant was taking out people by the millions, okay? I mean, it was weekly. People that was fully healthy, didn't matter comorbidities and things like that or whatever. You know what I'm saying? That was like a real trying time as a nurse in the hospital, you know what I'm saying? Because you saw people like come in and they just tank quickly, like, I mean, in a matter of seconds, or any little thing, motion, whatever, whatever. So, you know, we don't want to play with this thing. That's what I'm saying. We need to go ahead and be masking up. Now, the key thing about this particular variant is that, you know, it has all the regular symptoms, you know what I'm saying? The shortness of breath, the fever, the loss of taste and smell, the congestion, you know what I'm saying? The headaches, diarrhea, and stuff. But the key, key telltale sign of this new variant is you get the pink eye with it, okay? You get the irritation, the redness, you know what I'm saying? They're not saying that it's like draining as much, but they're calling it like a sticky eye or whatever. So that's one the um you know main symptoms of this new variant that's coming out with this you know, that's already out here the xbb you know what i'm saying and they're saying it's like one of the most invasive immuno um viruses that there is you know more than the delta variant so they're saying it's going to affect a whole lot more people and things like that you know what we need to do Right now, it's like to really start getting back into the precautions of things. I know I'm going to start wearing my mask. I know I got used to it because I'm going to tell you something. Working in the hospital 12 hours or whatnot, and that stuff start cutting your ears or whatnot. And you got to put on that big gown, the other paper gown and everything and all the gloves. Let me tell you something. We were sweating up under that dang old stuff. Let me tell you something. So, you know... As much as I don't want to have to go through all that again, that means protecting me, myself, and my family. I'm going to do what needs to be done and everything. But, but I will say I have gotten back used to, you know, some type of normalcy of us being able to go out as we were. You know what I'm saying? Because people with the vaccine and everything like that. So I think they're working on a new vaccine. Speaking of vaccines, to kind of go ahead and, you know what I'm saying, you know, combat this new spike mutation that this one is uh, supposed to be given. So, you know... For me, I know I got my uh, first two. I didn't get no boosters or nothing like that. You know what I'm saying? I got the two because that was required for work. You know, I don't know about y'all. Y'all might have got, you know, all that. But us working as nurses, we get stabbed over sh all the time, period. So, you know, it's one of those things like we're never going to go like unimmunized for anything because it's just by law not going to happen if you're working in a hospital setting, you know? So, you know, 
I'm pretty sure they're going to require some type of something if it really gets out of hand. But what I really want the hospitals to do, which is what they have not been doing, which is to go back to the actual testing in the emergency rooms and stuff. Because um, I really feel like that was like a key, key thing. Because by the time they get to the floor where I am, my sister's an emergency room nurse or whatnot. I'm a uh, floor nurse. I work on a, a, a telemetry floor usually when I'm out there traveling and things like that or whatever. By the time they get to me, we kind of need to know they be free of COVID and all that kind of respiratory stuff because, you know, you come on the communal floor or whatnot with people that already have, you know, that are susceptible to different uh, things because they may be immunocompromised or something like that. So, you know, I think the hospitals need to get back to that. You know what I'm saying? They also need to get back to checking the temperatures and things like that because my boss just actually, you know, had COVID or whatever. And you know what? The real big spread of COVID, you know, I'm just saying, speaking of, um, from this actual situation, what I'm talking about uh, or whatever, you know, her family member, uh, actually, I was, as I was interviewing for the position, her family member called and was like, you know, hey, I'm not going to be able to make it because, you know, I just tested positive for COVID. Yeah, I know we're supposed to have a birthday party and this, that, and the third, X, Y, and Z, uh, whatever, whatever, because they was coming from another country. So, um, anywho, she was like, you know, well, he can't come, da 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 Three days later, Oh, I'm sick, Michael. You know, I can't do this. I can't, you know, I, I think I have COVID. My family's all coughing. Da, 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 da. I say, well, what happened? How'd you get COVID? Oh, my uh, family member came on up anyway, and they came to the party. And I'm sitting here like, girl, seriously? See, this is the reason why this was spread in the first time. Because people are not taking the standard precautions. There's no way that you'd have been coming to my house and I know that you tested positive for COVID. I don't give a damn who birthday party it was. Okay? And so we have to be mindful of people, you know, when we're bringing them around in our spaces. Especially if we know that this variant is back out there. And I know down here in Florida, it's very communal. People are very resistant to masks and stuff like that. But just for that damn reason, I get to make sure I'm protecting myself. I'm going to be covering my damn face up, okay? Just like that. I'm going to have this sucker right here, right back on, okay? Don't play with me. Don't play. And y'all better not be playing either because a lot of damn good people got lost with that Delta variant and just COVID in general. Good people. My family members, life of the party people, people that just had a good heart, good spirit. So we got to make sure that we're protecting everybody around us and we're doing the right thing or whatnot. You know, we can't be having unprotected conversations with folk. And, you know, like I said, that's all I really got to say about that. But, you know, y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments. But... I really think that this whole situation is going to put us on a whole nother lockdown because you know people are not going to be complying. They're like, oh, I got the vaccine or I'm against it. Or da -da 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 -da. Whatever. Don't have your ass hemmed up in a motherfucking hospital hooked up to a CPAP BiPAP and all that because you wanted to be rebellious against, you know, you know, the obvious out here. Okay. So, um, you know, y'all make sure y'all hit the like button, subscribe, you know what I'm saying? I'll be talking to y'all a little bit. All right, bye.